I've only dreamed of working with, such as Issa Rae, such as Issa, Issa that I've only dreamed of working with, such as Issa right? What's up, beautiful creators? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk to you all about why social media networking is so important and how I was able to start working with Issa Rae and Yara Shahidi. Let's get into it. So as you may know, if you're on social media, social media is one of the best and free marketing tools that you can use for your business, that you can use to network. You don't have to actually go out to meet people. It has kind of really changed the overall game of communicating, networking, everything. And if you are not using it, you are doing a big disservice to yourself and to your company because for me and you know my overall path during this whole transition of getting into filmmaking social media has been like the number one thing that has truly honestly helped me get to where i've gotten and 90 percent of my work specifically comes from social media also with word of mouth and because social media has been a big part of my business and how i've conducted things it is also a part of how it is also a part of how i've been able to work with some of my favorites that i've only dreamed of working with such as Issa Rae and yara shahidi now in case you don't know who these people are i want to do a breakdown on both of them Issa Rae is a creator, actress, writer, producer in Los Angeles. She has a show on HBO called Insecure. She's been in a couple of movies such as Little with my favorite Regina Hall and The Photograph with Lakeith Stanfield. She started off as a YouTube creator with her digital show titled Aqua Black Girl. And she's really the pioneer for black creators on YouTube that shows us that we can make it happen. She's beautiful, fun, hilarious, all of the above. Yara Shahidi is a producer and actress who starred in so many movies, so I can't even name them all. She started as a kid actress and currently has her own production company. She's gorgeous, intelligent, and just an overall dope person. And I love working with both of these individuals. So how did I get started in them? Let's first start with Issa. The way I got to Issa was not by going to Issa. So I kind of spoke working with Issa into existence before I even knew that it was Issa's company. Um, I think it was kind of like five years living in LA and she had a company called The Peak. And I just remember me and my roommate being in our living room talking about one day we're gonna work for The Peak. My roommate does PR and of course I do DPing work, you know, camera operating and things. And I was like, you know what? One day I wanna work for this company. We researched, we went on the sites and we could not figure out who owned the company. So it was really hard to actually try to like send out emails to figure out like how I could work for them or anything like that. Fast forward, I was just kind of like on social media and at that point in my life, you know, work started to dwindle and I wanted to just kind of network more. I had been going home, back and forth from being home in St. Louis to being in LA because of some deaths that was happening in my family and people being sick. And so I was kind of out of the loop for a while and I wanted to kind of get back in. And so I was really just like seeing what other people, basically my peers were doing and just kind of like going on social media and contacting them and figuring out how I could just like be on set similar to the last video i just did about the 85 when i hit up my mentor he wasn't even my mentor at the time it was like if you have any video work let me know kind of went that same route and i did it to a guy named justin henry and he was on youtube not even knowing at this time that he was working with isa i had already just kind of seen him do his personal work or being hired to do short films and i just he was actively like uploading every day on Instagram, like, you know, just being on set. So I was like, I would love to just kind of like learn from him, see how he's been able to maneuver in this field. So I hit him up and he was like, yeah, definitely. I always need help. I'm gonna hit you up. So he started hitting me up all the time. And unfortunately, every time he hit me up, I could not do it. I was either working, cause at the time I was also doing full-time stuff. So I was either working or I was like going back home. And so I got really scared after like the fifth time of him asking me, do I want to like help out and me saying no too much. I was like, he's going to stop asking me. So the last time I got back home from St. Louis after being with my family, I hit him back up and was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I'm down to work. Like no more no's. Like, please, you know, don't give up on me. I really want to just be a part and help out. So he asked me, he was like, oh, perfect timing because we actually have to shoot you know, uh, uh, we we actually have an event that we have to shoot. So I'm like, hey, I'm down to be a part, whatever you need me to do. So fast forward even more, come to find out the event was Issa's event. And I get there and I'm like, you know, helping out. They put me on the gimbal on the phone work cause you gotta work your way in. So I was on the phone getting audience shots, but find out it's, actual, it's actually Issa's production company that I'm working for. So he actually brought me in and my first gig was 
working for her production company, which was super cool because I got to see her and Yvonne Orgy just kind of like talk about everything and insecure and just, you know, how Yvonne got her start. And it was just really, really dope because I had always been on the outside and I was finally able to get more on the inside. And then just being able to shoot and be around other creatives all from just reaching out on social media to this guy and being like, hey, if you ever need help, I'm here. So I could have not done that because I felt like, oh, I don't want to be a PA or I don't want to be this, but look at where it put me. And so for me, speaking out loud to my roommate, you know, years before, you know, a year or two later, being actually in front of her and working on an event for her production company, it was a dream come true. Not only that, that was the first start of it. Honestly, after that, he start calling me more and more because they really liked, you know, my personality and being on set and wanting to just help out that they kept bringing me back. And then my second one was an event called Pieces that we started doing for her company. And I was able to develop, you know, my eye is just a camera operator being on a, under another DP, you know, because as a DP, it's different when you're just a camera operator and learning how to take direction from someone else. And so, Again, being around a creative space and, you know, Pieces was amazing because we were, the first time that I worked with them, it was with Jasmine Sullivan and that was super dope. And that's when I got to take my first picture with Issa and I'm like, this is a dream come true. And it's really from one, speaking it to existence and two, literally going on social media to network with my peer. So not one did I ever, not, not once did I ever hit up Issa to be like, hey, I would love to work with you. Here's my resume, da, 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 da. It was like, you know what? I see my peers doing amazing things and I wanna just be a part of that and help them. So when they grow, we all grow. And I feel like we need to start looking at it in that way and not like, oh, I wanna get on Netflix. So I wanna get on this. It's like, you know what? Let me make my first short meal. Let me make my first short film and just get into the film festivals. Let me make my first short film and just help out my other friends who are trying to get their first their stuff made, whether they're a producer and I'm a DP and we're all growing together so that when we make it to the top or whatever people want to consider the top, we all got there together and we all helped and we all progressed, right? And now I am a freelance video editor for Issa's production company and you know, I love it. She's super amazing what you see you know, on all her movies or in all her shows or whatever it is that you see her on Instagram, that is who she is. She's a funny, humble, and amazing person. And I, this is just a blessed opportunity that I was able to have. And I'm thankful for social media for allowing me to network with him. I didn't know Justin at all, never met him in person, but because I just reached out on social, I talk to him every day now. We're friends, he's my mentor. Like, I kid you not, I don't know how guys set it up, whether it's meeting a mentor on Craigslist or meeting, you know, Justin on social media, but I'm just telling you all what worked for me. And I promise you all social media is key. When it came to Yara Shahidi, I met her also through a peer of mine. So one of my friends hit me up because she was originally supposed to photograph one of my other friends events and she could not make it because she was not living in LA at the time. So she asked me to photograph it. So I go there, I take a picture, I take all the pictures for the event. After the event, I meet a girl named Mara and I take just random pictures of her, nothing fancy, honestly. She likes them and she posts them and then we started to follow each other on Instagram. From there, we stay connected and of course, me being on Instagram and knowing that Instagram is a business tool for me, I'm uploading my work all the time. I try to post once a day and I try to post all of my work to see my growth. I'm not afraid to show my growth. So like, I'm not afraid to show how bad I was three years ago, right? And so these people who I'm, I'm reaching out to, they're also able to get something back and see all of my work, see what I'm doing, how I'm progressing, and if they would like to be a part of that progression. Well, Mara did wanna be a part of that progression because when she um, started working uh, for Yara, she hit me up wanting me to be the camera operator for a lot of their projects. And just by seeing the work that I was doing for just other people like Kalana and you know all these other social media influencers that I was doing work for and posting it on social media, her seeing that and having a bigger idea and scope of what she wanted to do, she brought me in from that. And then I was able to start working with Yara through her because she was working with Yara. So again, connecting with a peer, posting on social media and using that as my marketing tool, using that as my portfolio to show all of my followers because you really never know who's watching. So the biggest thing is just staying consistent and posting, whether it's showing more of your personality and 
posting your work, no matter what it is, because you just don't know who's gonna contact you. And she contacted me. I started shooting with Yara, and the first thing was more social media. Um, so we started doing a lot of IGTV kind of content. But from that, I'm actually a camera operator for a lot of bigger branded content whenever Yara's production company has to shoot something. I've been able to build family with both of these people, you know, so I just think that building that relationship is gonna supersede any any just one or two projects. This is why I honestly say that social media networking is so important because you're gonna meet some of the best people that you will ever meet that you never would have been able to meet in person. Or it could be people who don't even live in LA that I could easily meet on social. So there's a lot of times where people who follow me, they're from Atlanta, so it's like when you Ever come to Atlanta hit me up I want to work with you I want you to be on a project right and I'm like yeah I'm down because I know I want to make clientele in Atlanta so just keeping a roster of all these people that follow you don't just be on social media to have followers but really network and really use it to your advantage because I've been able to get sponsorships from Instagram I've been able to connect with companies from Instagram I've been able to have companies share my work things that I just never really thought that would ever happen in my career. And I'm not even where I feel like I wanna be, but even just where I'm at and I'm humble about where I'm at and I'm okay with where I'm at because I feel like, you know, you have to soak in where you are before you can move on. It's just amazing to see how social media has benefited me, period, just by just posting. I think the thing about it is that with social media, people worry so much on the followers or the number of followers. But for me, I'm more focused on the connection. Cause like I said, you could have 10,000 followers, but only have 10 likes on a photo because you really don't have a connection with your followers. You just care, you just care about the number. So one of my friends, he had like 18, 20,000 followers and he found out that my impression rate was way better than his. And at the time I had only had three or 4,000. So to me, it's not about the number of followers that I have. It's really about the connections that I'm making because if Instagram goes away or if Facebook goes away, then, then what do you have? But I still have these connections. So just make sure you're taking advantage of LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of these. They're for fun, of course, so never forget that they're for fun. But it's also okay to just use it as another tool if you need to so if i couldn't give any other advice it would really be to connect with people who are just like you who's trying to grow as well they that you all can trust each other and build a tribe because i guarantee because honestly most of my work has came from people that were my peers who just believed in me let me know if you guys actually had the same experiences like if you've been able to get work from social media, if you've been able to get sponsorship from social media, because I feel like it's common, but we don't necessarily talk about it a lot. And it's so important to 2021 to where we are in marketing. So yeah, social media is important. Networking is important. Peer to peer growth is important. It's all important. But let me know if you like this video, give it a like, share and subscribe, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next video.